Now to the new COVID variant that health officials are keeping an eye on coming amid a rise in hospitalizations for the virus. ABC's Derek Dennis is here now with details. Derek, good morning. Good morning to you with the CDC documenting a rise in hospitalizations across the U.S. The latest data showing what we're seeing here. There were 15,000 new COVID hospitalizations for the week ending August 19th. And now retailers and pharmacies are reporting an increasing demand for at home COVID tests. Walgreens saying we are seeing greater demand in this category nationwide, which may cause temporary and isolated shortages. The CDC also monitoring as the virus continues to evolve through, though it is far too early really to say whether one of those variants, the BA286, might cause more serious illness or be more transmissible than others. So far, only 24 cases worldwide, including four in the U.S. The CDC says it appears current testing and medications are working against the variant. Now, the CDC also says the new vaccine for COVID is expected to be released in mid-September. So what should you be doing to protect yourself? Well, the CDC says you should get your COVID vaccines as recommended. Test yourself if you have any COVID symptoms and seek treatment if you test positive or are at high risk of getting very sick. Of course, the bottom line is as we head into fall and spend more times indoors, we should remain vigilant and use the advice we've all been given. Wash your hands, cover your mouth when you call for a sneeze. And if you feel you need to mask up, do so to stay healthy, guys. You know, every time I see someone with a mask, I'm grateful because it means they're protecting me and themselves. Especially as we're seeing more about COVID coming back. Derek, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.